Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and I can't wait to share this with you. It's my Bible. The Bible is filled with stories about people just like you and me. There's grown-ups and kids, moms and dads, brothers and sisters. Some of them make wise choices. Some of them don't. But they all share one thing, the same loving Father. In the Bible, we discover how God created each one of us and loves us so much, he made a way to rescue us, even when we turned our backs on him. When we choose to follow Jesus, God wipes the slate clean. That's true forgiveness. And I've got five stories from the life of Jesus to show you what it can look like. We get started in the book of Matthew. Here, Peter asks Jesus, how many times should I forgive? Up to seven times? Peter's ready to pat himself on the back for being oh so generous until Jesus tells a story. See, there's this servant who owes 10,000 bags of gold, but his master forgives the whole debt. I mean, what? The servant has his life back. Yes. <laughs> Time to pass on that same freedom to others, right? Well, you'd think. Time for a quick hop to the book of Luke. Jesus is passing through Jericho and everyone is so excited. Even a guy named Zacchaeus. But Zacchaeus isn't big on crowds. No one likes him because he collects money for the Romans and takes extra for himself. Still, he's so determined to see Jesus that he's willing to go out on a limb. Let's go back to Matthew for another reminder from Jesus. Here, Jesus is teaching his followers on a mountainside. A huge crowd gathers as he shares with them how God wants us to live. Suppose you are offering your gift at the altar and you remember that your brother or sister has something against you. Leave your gift. First, go and make peace with them. Jesus says that making things right with others is super important. In fact, forgiving others is one of the best ways to show your love for God. Let's wrap up in Luke now for a two-part epic. Here, Jesus challenges the religious leaders with the story of a young man who wants to live it up. The young man demands money from his father. In fact, it would be all the money he'd get if his father were dead. Ouch. Then the young man takes off for parts unknown and wastes every penny on expensive clothes and parties. The son is finally forced to take care of pigs to survive. I mean, even his dad's servants have it way better than this, but there's no way he can go home now, right? Stay with us to wrap up in the final week. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> Dad has forgiven his foolish son. He's even throwing a party to welcome him home. But the kid's big brother isn't so happy. I mean, big bro has done the right thing his whole life. And now little bro gets a party? Even though he's a total mess up? I mean, what is up with that? Big bro may be right, but holding on to his anger can't make him happy. 
God forgives each of us when we ask, but we can't live in freedom until we choose to release those who have wronged us too. That's true forgiveness. And I can't wait to see how it plays out in you and me.